What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on then number five, Miami of Florida. They were loaded with talent, but they just couldn't do much on the field. We ended up winning by 12. That was a live stream video. Thank you to all those who were a part of that. And it's just been the same theme for pretty much every time I play 07 and that the CPU offense just really struggles. And Miami had no excuse. I mean, they done really good in the first quarter, but tanked it the rest of the way. And we was able to get the win. Now, we are 9-2. We got one more regular season game to go, and that is Troy. That's who we'll play today. They run a spread offense. They tend to rely on the run game a little bit more, as you could tell by their rushing offense. And they run a 4-3 defense. They're having a good season. We'll check the conference standings, but if I'm not mistaken, this game is pretty much going to be for the conference title. We'll check that here in a little bit. Uh, I don't remember what happened last season against them. I'm pretty sure we won. I, I think we went undefeated in the conference. After this, we'll have the bowl game, and then I'm going to finish up the dynasty, and we're going to move back over to my 06 Hawaii dynasty. But let's take care of business here first. We were 18th in the country after that big quote-unquote upset over Miami. Let's go to end-season recruiting. One thing that you missed was Travis Moss ended up committing. He was supposed to... Uh, I just didn't, I forgot that he already visited and he could have committed at any moment and I forgot to record that. So like it really matters since I'm not going to finish, I'm not going to continue with the dynasty, but he did commit and we ended up with a bunch of pretty good players in the, in the regular season. Like I said, none of that really matters at this point. Let's go to ESPN, the magazine, a couple of things we can check BCS rankings. I'm curious to see if we even made this. There we are. They got us 19th in the BCS standings, which is pretty cool. My beloved Vols are number one. Those are the good old days. Let's go Heisman Watch. We haven't got to look at any of this in a while. Arian Foster doing his thing. Brian Brom, Jevin Sneed, uh, wide receiver out of Boise, and uh, Ike Whitaker is doing his thing at quarterback at Virginia Tech. Awards finalists. We're up for one award. And that is the tight end award, and we are still leading there. 59 receptions, 778 yards, and 10 touchdowns. The next guy below us only has 33 receptions, 607 yards, and 6 touchdowns. So it is obvious we should win this award, and I hope he does. I feel like he's earned it. He's had a great season for us, and I've had a blast uh, featuring a tight end in the offense. It's been a while since I've got to do that. Like I said, that's the only award we're really up for. Well, here's the coach award. We're moving right up the rankings, but we're not going to finish in the top three since the season's pretty much over with. Bowl projections. We'll see who we're going to play in the next game. We should end up going to Detroit playing in the... They got us here playing in the Emerald Bowl, but I'm quite positive if we win, we would go to the Motor City Bowl, if I'm not mistaken. And speaking of that, let's go to conference standings. And there they are. We already beat Arkansas State. They had the one loss, so we can lose today and we'll still tie with them. But as you can see, Troy just has one loss as well. So we have to win the day in order to win the conference. If we lose, Troy will get that. And then we'll probably end up going to the Ember Bowl or somewhere else. But I'd prefer to win the day and lock up the conference title yet again. Uh, let's go back and look at the team screens. No injuries. We've stayed really clean on that front all season. Very lucky there. Craddock, Suber, and Chicola have been doing their thing all year. Sab, Mosley, and Hofacker are doing great there. And Mosley has been killing it at defensive end, really taking command uh, of that position, just playing great. He may end up being an All-American by the time the season is over with. He's definitely going to be first team all-conference, that's for sure. Now we'll go to Troy. They got some players out. They got a corner and a guard. Looking at their offense, they got a quarterback playing pretty well. They got a running back that's running the ball quite well. 121 yards a game. That's pretty solid. Defensively, looks like they got one guy leading both in tackles and in sacks. But in their last game, they got annihilated by Arkansas State, which we beat. So we'll see what happens there. Okay, I think that is it. We can go ahead and play the game. I can speed this up. And let's go with 
alternate two. Let's go with the all white uniform. Uh, do they go all red? And hey, let's just go all white. That's fine. Again, thank you all to those who joined me on the live stream in the last game. I'm not going to do that every time. My preference is to do that for special types of videos, like maybe practice sessions, Q&A type stuff. Doing it in an actual game, especially in a Dynasty game, is kind of tough because I really want to focus on what I'm doing. It's kind of hard to do that when I'm talking to others at the same time. I'll figure all that out, though. All right, let's say we got pretty weather. Interesting tie and suit combo there, Brad. No complaints about the weather tonight as we yeah. see nothing but just great weather. That's a good end of the season, you know, win. Then you snag the conference up. That was a real quick view of the conference standings. The Blue Raiders have been looking forward to this matchup all week. Kirk, what are your thoughts on this game? Middle Tennessee State is led offensive. Craddock has played, has had a great season. Bobby Williams may get the ball quite a bit today. He had an amazing game last game against Miami. And they're picking us, as expected. I want the ball to start a second half. Let's check out some rosters. Let's go to here. Uh, quarterback, impact guy, 82 speed. So I'm not going to blitz much. I would prefer him to throw the ball around. But I'm curious to see how they're going to handle him. And they got an impact running back as well, who's technically the backup. But this guy's the leading rusher for them. So it looks like they'll be a gun run heavy type of offense. Wide receivers, they got a couple guys, not bad. Nothing at tight end, so we don't need to expect anything there. Looking at their offensive line, 74, 82, 72, 70, and 76. Nothing special. Like I said, they run a 4-3 defense. 88 and 84 at the ends. That's really good for the conference. I mean, really good. Just okay at defensive tackle. This is the kid that's putting up most of the stats on defense. Impact guy, 88 overall, 84 speed. So all that does make sense. Decent middle linebacker, not much at right outside the linebacker. Their top corner is out, like I said, and they don't have much behind him, so we'll probably go after the corners quite a bit today. Not a bad free safety and just an okay strong safety, so we may try to go after him son as well. Just an okay kicker, a very bad punter. He's a true freshman, and I think we're ready to go. They don't have any impact guys in the back end. I'll just kick it down the middle. Thanks. Takes it at the four. Good stop there. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Let's do a one high. So guys, I, think I think they're going to run the ball a ton today. What do you think? Forget about it. That's the easy pick. I like the left defensive end. He's going against a weak right tackle, and I think he'll blow up and have a... Going to throw out of the gate. A guys I'd really like to pay the good man beater there. But the main one is the defensive end. I think he'll have the biggest impact out of everyone on the field. We'll go with a 46. Just have a bunch of guys down low. Just a good run there. Pick up eight, nine yards. Eight yards on the pickup. We'll do under. We'll go crash gold. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 48. It's been a while since we've had a well. I'll say this. It's been a while since we've had a an announcement game with the big three guys, but we just had one earlier in the previous game with Miami. So that's a kind of a new point. So it's third and two, and they're going four wide. I'm going to go with the one high out of nickel. I'm going to come down. Ah, dang it. Just saved a touchdown there. That's just a good play by them. I'm going to look here, see what they've done correctly. 
that's a good block on Hofanker. I kind of set up everything. Everybody got a good block there, got a block there, and he was able to get to the outside. So just a good run. I'll keep putting eight guys in the box until we can stop it. Number 16 with three wide receivers. Good stop there. That's a halfback read play. Don't, those don't work well. We'll go back to a crash gold. I love the glitch. Uh-oh. Hmm. That worried me a little bit. So it's third and four, third and five. Third and four. That's why they're in the top ten. I'll still go one high here. I think they will run it. Let's shift a little bit and see if that makes any difference. Halfback draw. It's a good stop. Fourth down, so we're going to force the field goal. They're going to go for it. Interesting. I'm going to take the chance and say they're going to run it. So we'll go 46 bear. Ah, just a big hole open up right there. And that keeps the drive alive. First and ten. We'll go back to just the bare front again. They come out in a goal line set. Dawson gets another carry. Get a good stop there, so it's second and nine, second and eight. Yard, maybe two on the carry. This time we will send the nickel. We'll still go one high though. Half back direct. Ah, oh, good play. Good stop. So now it's third and eight. This is going to be interesting. I'm still going to go with the one high. Ooh, let me, uh. They're going with a huge set. Makes me want to just... Ah, crap. Crap. That's a good play. So they're going to get a touchdown here. Wasn't really expecting that. We'll go goal line, but I don't think it'll make a difference. Well, this is a good start for them. We can't seem to stop them on the downs we need to. Yeah, he's going to do a QB sneak. <laughs> Well, it's good to see the CPU offense do something. Now, again, it's just going to be the same as what we saw in the previous game, where the first quarter they've done their part, then the rest of the game not so much. But at least they're focusing on the run game. They have a better chance, I think, of getting some yards by doing that instead of passing. So we'll get on offense, see if we can tie it up. See if we can get a block or two right here. Not a whole lot. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Let me make my one adjustment there. Uh, let's start off with a simple throw. Hopefully to Suber. They are going man. Not a big fan of that shift. That's almost intercepted. Ooh, that was close. That was worrisome. That was perfect defense. That guy, he was sitting over there waiting on it. That's by the safety, too. I'm glad I threw it as hard as I did. Thankfully, we got the yards. I'd like to say one thing. The reason they were able to get something out of this play is the fact that the quarterback had time to get rid of the football. Let's run the ball. Let's try a counter. Going zone. Guess we're going to go to the right. Ah. Impact guy made a perfect play on that one. Second and 13. We'll go curl flats. We're going man. What I would like to do. Let's look here. We're going to do a smart route to go with that. 
just in case. Pick up a first down. Again, I've done a smart route to the curl, which is a cool feature in this game, the smart routes. It does help. Let's run the ball. Let's go slam and ace big. After going 46 bear. Ah, we're going to go to the left. Yeah. Get the first down. We are on the left hash. Yo, nice run and good job to keep the chains moving. They are stringing together a nice Let's go X dig Z whip. Going man. Ball on the 37. Got to be very careful here. First down. Look at the throw. Ah, uh, impact guy. I was. I forgot about that. I shouldn't have thrown to him. That was a good throw. Second and ten. We'll go back. Let's make some of that up with curl flat. They're going man. We can do that. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Somebody came through. Impact or jump the snap. Just good defense, though. Otherwise, that one he wasn't the one who got me. Ah. Well, it's not what we won. Now they got all the momentum in the world. Let's see if they capitalize on that. We'll go back to another one high. Turnovers. That's how I lose games. I know that sounds pretty basic. That's how you lose most games, but that's how you beat me, and especially in this game. That's the only way I lose is by having enough turnovers. There he goes. Uh-oh. Dang it. Dang it. That's a block in the back. I swear. Here it comes. Let's say that momentum meter really affects things. I think it did right there. Broken tackle, broken tackle. That's a great play right there. Block in the back, block in the back right there, but that's okay. All right. Got us ourselves in a hole. Now, if we get blown out, I'm going to blame the momentum meter. I don't think we will. I think we can play decent if we can stick with it. That's about as bad a start as you can ask for. We'll get back on offense and try not to turn the ball over again. Let's see if we can find something, a hole, and nope, ain't going to happen. Let's go. Let's go quick slants. We're going man. I'm going to do that just in case. They're bringing the heat. Can he make a play? Good job by Cannon. Good throw. We needed that. So they're getting very aggressive on defense. They're showing a lot of cover zero. So let's go back. Uh, let's do... Let's do slants. They're going zone here. Everybody, their brother is spread out. End of the quarter. Well, that's, as, like I said, about as bad as a quarter as you can ask for. Going slants here. I'm going to probably keep this simple and give this to Suber. Nope. They went man. The, ah, they went man. I'm an idiot. <laughs> They went man. I thought they went zone. I just, I wasn't paying attention. My bad, my bad. Whiffed up on that one. Let's go curl flats again, trying to make up for it. Going zone. Let's get an extra zone beater in there if we can. Oh, big play right there. Perfect. That's what you want to see. There's no way to control this, though. I don't know how to produce that any further. I guess you could put some English on it and force it up, but I think he'll just throw it higher. But the, getting a run and go on a throw like that or on a catch, you can't beat that. But I think that's so rare, and I don't think that's something you can create consistently. 
He looked like he threw that one about as hard as he could. We'll take it, though. Let's try a toss play. Going zone. We'll go to the right. Just no, none whatsoever. No blocking, nothing. We'll do curl flats from this formation. They're going zone. I'll just go back to Jacola. Well, you got to catch it. So it's third and long. Something happened there. Come on. I don't know what the deal is. There we go. Okay. We'll go deep comeback. We're going man. I'm going to try to hit the comeback if I can. I'm going to have my tight end block for me. Big play. Big play. First down. Whew. Okay, we're on the two-yard line. Let's go turn in. We're going zone. I'd love to see that hole over the middle. Ain't going to happen, though. Oh. <laughs> that should have been picked off. Very lucky there. <laughs> that was perfect defense across the board. I had two zone beaters. I think we can go back and look at it. Don't let me. I wanted to go over the middle to my tight end, but that wasn't going to happen. Nobody else was open. Ooh, kind of, my curl was kind of open. I think because they ran out of room, this guy has no choice but to kind of stay down. Of course, it depends on what play they pick, too. But either way, we're very fortunate to get the six points. Well, we got the momentum meter down a little bit. We got to figure out what to do on defense, though. They're kind of running amok on us. And he adds the extra points. And with four minutes Hopefully we can quarter, just play well. Troy, well enough. We need to force a punt. We need to turn over ourselves. That's what we really need. Middle Tennessee State gets set to kick this one away. Kicks it off. Somebody get a stop here. That ain't good. Ooh, he, here it comes. Well, now they're starting to break tackles. We'll just go back to another one high. Here are the offensive production stats brought to you today by Coca-Cola. The Troy Trojans come out in a shotgun. Hopefully they will. Going with a basic run, we'll take that any day of the week. Great play by Mosley. Second and 13. We got to take advantage of this. I'm going to do quarters. It's second and 13. Ball I can see him throwing it. Let's do this. Get a five-man front. If they run, we can maybe get to the edges. They're going to throw. Ah, oh, wide open. A good play. So now it's what third and four. I'm gonna take a chance. We're gonna go one high. I think they're gonna run it. From their own 48-yard line. It's third and four. Number 16 with four wide receivers. Please don't go like halfback to wreck or something stupid like that. Oh, they went. Oh, that's an awesome looking play. Oh, that's that option pass play. That's what that is. You go back and look at it. See the hesitation? It was really quick. It's the option pass. Yeah. Look at this guy was wide open, too. I think that was halfway my fault, though. <sighs> so they are going to punt. We're going to go all out block. Hopefully they don't fake it. I don't think they will. If they do, then that's just on me. But there's just not enough good punt defense plays to, that can help you out in this situation. Well, fair catch that. Let's go X post. Haven't called this play in forever. They're going dime on this one. Double teaming there. The Blue Raiders come out in the ace formation. The Blue Raiders. I probably shouldn't have done that. I don't know who can hear that or not. 
Hopefully my offensive line can hear it. The Sam busted play. Dang it. Not what I wanted. I didn't think about that with the crown and such. We'll go curl flat. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Uh, we'll do that. Going one high here. Get Bobby Williams the ball for the first time. Going man there. Good first down. Let's try counter. Here's the offensive production statistics. Going zone. Uh, let's go to the left. Um, that impact guy is playing great so far. Ah. We had a didn't have an extra guy. That was my fault. I should have called something different there. Second and thirteen. We can go back. The tight end corner. Please go man. They're going zone. change things up here let's do that i'm just trying to think of he drops back. He sack i just couldn't get it off in time just, somebody came through my fullback i don't know what he's doing here it's just like uh should i block or should i just stay there that really oh that just burns me alive so it's third and forever offensive line Am I, wait, I think I'm wasting my time calling something to try to get a, touch, a first down. They're going man. Oh my gosh, are they really going to go cover zero here? Nope. Go my tight end! <laughs> first down, they went cover one. Oh my gosh, I went to my cover one beater. Great play. Awesome play. So let's go curls here. Going zone. And this one probably wasn't a good idea. Drops back out first down. Looks. Throws this one out to the right. <laughs> Get a first down with my fullback. We'll take it. Are you kidding me? It looks like he has a rocket launcher attached to his shoulder. I'm, I'm just trying to think of stuff we can get out of the field really quick with. They're going man here. Brought to you by Coke. I can't get anybody off size. They've done a good job of that today. They're bringing everybody. Six points to... Ah, oh, overthrew it. Looks like he forced the throw there, guys. And that was... Oh, man. Big opportunity missed right there. No question, Coach. He got lucky. Nobody was there. Let's go flanker curl. Going zone here. I may leave. Let's just see. Looks to pass. Looking. He unloads it. Just what was that? Man, that was an awful throw. So third and ten. We'll try deep comeback again. Going zone, so I have some options. I'm going to have Chicola block. We're going to go to one of the two receivers. Terrible throw. Kylie, come on. Make a better throw. Minute 15. I feel like i got to go for it. On the 37. I mean, I could punt it, but I'd rather try to go for it right here. Get an extra blocker. Here we go. Looks. Let's it go. Huge. Oh my gosh. I don't know how he kept. How did he catch that? I thought he was going to drop it. They went cover two, so that's who I went to. Oh my gosh. Somehow we're staying in this on this drive. We're going zone here. Let's just run the ball for now. Performance matters most. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Suber. I had just nothing there. Made at the 10. Suber gains around three yards on the run. Do slants. Second We're going man. Go. This will go to our tight end. Unfortunately. Middle Tennessee State comes out with an eye formation. I may go over here and stay at. Intercepted. Who? Very lucky that one picked off. 
Very fortunate. Second and seven. It's going to be interesting to see if they continue to throw the ball in his direction. Um, Curl Flance. They're going man, so we'll take that. And this is the 13th play of this drive. This is the kind of I'm going to have him do a curl, just get away from the other curls. Touchdown. Yeah. Thankfully, they went man. So, Cranick just broke the record for most touchdowns in a season. I think that's what that was. That's a huge drive right there. A lot of ups and downs, but we somehow got it going. Had to convert some really tough third downs. And a crucial fourth. So now you look at the momentum meter. It is dead center. We got a little bit of the momentum. So 35 seconds. Let's survive that before we go to half. Because we will get the ball started of the third. Somebody get a stop. I don't know if they're going to try... Let's just do something basic. Let's just do quarters just in case. I think they're going to run out the clock. They're going to throw. Ah, missed opportunity there by Hofacker. We're going to go defense and linebackers. And let's just stick with quarters for now. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coke. Middle Tennessee State moves in tight on the coverage. He drops back. He's going to run with it. Somebody get him. A good stop there. They're going to. No huddle. Set up in the gun. I don't know what they're going to call here. I guess just the basic throw. Uh, that's saying good. Oh, great defense. Scared me half the day. So it's. Third and three. Let's play it safe and go cover two man. Just keep everything in front of us. So it's five seconds, first and ten. They should go Hail Mary here. So we'll just call the same thing. Hopefully nothing crazy happens here. He looks to throw on first He's got all day to get, get him. Ah, oh, man. Somebody make a play. Woo! Uh, be to over, overthrew just a little bit more. So we're tied at 14. So who would have expected that? Let's look at some stats and scores. Uh, of course, uh, offensively, they're doing a decent job. Let's just see most of that came in the first quarter. I wish they would break a lot of this stuff down by quarter, but you can't have everything, I guess. They're running the ball really well, though. They're not throwing the ball all that well, but I didn't really expect them to either. We've had the two sacks. They've done a good job on third down, which is good to see. And they've kept it pretty clean. Both teams have. But I want to go up and just make sure uh, we are th throwing the ball a lot more than we're running it. But they're stopping our run game, too. I wish we could run the ball a little bit better. I mean, I can keep trying. But like I said, they're just doing a really good job of stuff in that, so we have to go to the passing game. Instead, the one turnover really hurt us. But we overcame it. We can try. Let's try counter. From trips. They're going dime, which I'm okay with. to the right side nobody's going off sides either so they're doing a good job of all that made pretty good sense just to go up the middle here it just the partner of the red sea once you get to this point right here so i just went verticals and was able to get some decent yards out of it let's go curl flat going zone we'll go to cannon the blue raiders Come out showing three wide. He's looking to pass. 
He lets it fly. It's complete. Just a bad play. Bad, bad play. So it's third and eight. Just a bad throw by Krannick. Had to come back for it. Just all kinds of bad. So they're going zone here, which is good. What I want to do, I'm going to do that. We're going to have extra protection. We're going to go to one of the receivers. Dang it! Dang it! Intercepted. Ooh, very... I was fixing to get sacked. Somebody came through. We can, we can check it. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened down there on the field. I want to go back and look at it. Oh, impact. Oh, jump the snap. My center got annihilated. What do you do? An annoyance, but it is what it is. So we're going to punt it. I'm going to try to punt this in towards the sideline over here. It went dead center. Didn't do a good job of that. Katoos, great name. All right, we, we got to get a stop here. That was a wasted down or wasted drive. Thankfully, our center is going to be out for a quarter. QB draw. Pick up a first down there almost. They're just making plays out there just enough. They've had more, we've had more turnovers, more bad plays than they have. That's how you win ball games. Eh, this ain't good. Ah, stupid ref. Got my way. We'll just go back to another one high. Lines up in a bunch for I'm not a big fan of that nickel. He's going to go around. It's a good stop, though. At the 31 yard line, the halfback Second and 10. On that toss play. Uh, let's just go under. Go crash gold. Ace backfield. Halfback draw. Ooh, I'm glad he got nudged a little bit. Gave me time to get down there and make a play. So it's third and seven. We'll go cover three. I'm going to see if I can get after this guy. I, I hot read him mostly. I probably... Oh, you got to be kidding. You got to be kidding. Still fourth down, but man, please kick a field goal. Dang it. I, that kills me. Mostly, I don't I mean, do I need to quit doing this? Because look at this. He just stood there. He stood there, and he stood there, and here he came. And then he finally got to him, and he just, ah, uh, just burns me alive. Okay. They'll work from the shotgun. On a counter. Big play! Ah! Ah! Huge! We've got to convert on it, though. we got to capitalize on this. We need to get some points. We're going zone here. I almost want to run it. I wonder... Okay, that's good. Ah, I'm a little worried about this. Let's see if we can get through. He jukes him. Big play right there. We'll take it. Done a formation audible. There was just too many holes up the... Too light of a box for me not to run against. So let's just go back to what we originally called. Curl flats. I dare you to go cover zero on me. Going cover one. Oh, big play! I swear, I, he just, mm. That's a good way to stop curls, at least the one over there. I should have went to that guy over here. Dang it. That's my fault. 
So if we lose, it's definitely because of all the turnovers. That's for sure. Ah, just not a good day. Just not a good day for me. After we beat like arguably the best team in the country, now we can't beat this team, which makes no sense. Now they're breaking tackles and such. Just go back to a one high. Have a look at our old spice red zone numbers. Red zone when performance matters most. Option left. There's a missed tackle. Pitches back. He gets hit out of They got some yards out of it. Oh, they ended up getting five somehow. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do a thunder green. We're gonna go all out blitz on him. Middle Tennessee State brings in the nickel here. He's looking to pass. Dang it. As soon as I do an all out blitz, they decide to throw it, of course. Well, that's what I get, though. So we're going to get back on offense and try not to screw up. That's all there is to it. But our defense is struggling. Finally, first time all season they've struggled. We're just down a touchdown, though. It's not the end of the world. I just wish we would see more games like this in this game, but we have it. He kicks it off. Of course, I got to play my part, and I have so many turnovers. Great run right there by McNair. Huge. We got to get some points. Quit turning the ball over. Going zone here. Take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. First down, look at the throw. He fired. Terrible he throw. He had to come back for it. And he shoved out of bounds at the 40. Get some yards, not a whole lot. I wish there was a decent curl flat here, but there isn't, I don't think. Nope, there isn't. Otherwise, I do use different types of curl flats besides the one I use all the time. Going man here. Middle Tennessee State using an audible. Back to pass. He looks throwing right. Get a first down there with Henry. Now let's run the ball. We'll go basic slam. We're going to go to the left. Hopefully, we can get some protection here. Nope. Somebody came in perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Can't run the ball today. They're just not going to let us. And I hate to go back to the same play over and over again. I'm just trying to find ways to get the Chicola, especially. Like, Chicola should get it here. Or go in zone. Dang it! Somebody came through again. Jump the stupid snap. Ah, golly. Third and 12. I don't know what to do about it, but jump the snap is killing us today. We're going man here. No, I want to protect. I'm going to have him do this. Looking to throw. Surveys the field. Terrible throw. He Dang it. Right. He, catches another one. he caught it first down, but man, that was just whatever. <laughs> yep. We'll take it. Right okay, let's try to run the ball. That's a great conversion. I think he got a toe down. Oh, okay. And dang it. Dang it. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. I'm not even going to look at it. Play stance. We'll take it. I didn't want to look at it. Uh, I want to... Let's try counter. If this doesn't work, I'm going to have to give up on the run game altogether. We have not had any luck with it today. Not a bad play there. 
Suber comes away with five yards on the carry. That'll bring up second down. I've been trying to get Suber in the passing game, but they keep going. See, they're going zone. I got to go to my zone beater here instead. When performance matters most. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. Back to pass. He throws it. It's complete. Great play by Henry. He's able to get around there. So let's try to go back to Suber if we can. If they go man. They got to go man, though, in order for this to work. We'll go back to tight end corner. There they go. They're going man. So we're going to get up to the line. He drops back. Should be a touchdown. Should be a touchdown. Okay, that's a good answer. Great protection all around. What was interesting? You go back and look at this. I want to check something out. I thought this was interesting. If you go back, look at their protection. They literally sent two guys. They blitzed two. The rest of them went, I don't know what they're doing here. <laughs> I thought it looked kind of odd. But thankfully, the guy who was supposed to be on Suber... This guy right here, thankfully he got stuck on his own defender. Ooh, yeah, he got stuck on his own guy. Made it wide open for him. Okay, let's kick an extra point. So now the momentum is back where it was, dead center. We got to get a stop on defense. And he adds the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summer. All right. Almost fourth quarter. We got to take care of business. We got to play well. And this was a terrible kick. I short legged it, whatever you want to call it. Good stop. Uh, let's do. I want to try something. Let's do quarters. I feel like they're really hurting us over the top when we go a lot of cover one. They eventually go to the passing game. Let's, oh, that's an interesting little motion. You normally don't see that. It's a good play there. And that is it. End of the third quarter. Put your fingers up. Four horsemen, four quarters. Fourth quarter, we got to get this thing done. We got to take care of business. We got to win. I'm going to go 4 3 over, and we're going to go quarters. They line up at the 27. It's second and nine. Troy lines up with three receivers. Counter. Runs a counter. Jakes off a tackle. Broke a couple tackles, so it's now third and four. Five with the carry. That'll bring up. Um. I'm gonna go back to quarters. I just got a feeling. I just in case they throw it, we'll at least be in a a defense where we can do something about it. Hopefully. But I can easily see him running it here. Great play. I didn't know what they was going to call. That's play of the game right there so far in my eyes. We're going to go double cross. That's a huge stop right there. If we can just get the ball back, score, get our first lead of the game, that would be good. And I hate to say this has been the most, this is the most fun I've had in a game so far this season. Calls for the fair catch. And that's because Troy's giving it to us. That's great. Okay. Let's try a counter. Let's run the ball. They're going zone. I guess we got no choice. No, I don't want that. What happens if I do that? I don't like any of that. Ah, dang it! Dang it! Just, I gotta quit the counter. Just not working today. Now it's second and forever. Ah, thanks for the going man. We're going, this may be crazy, but we're going to try a deep curl if needed. No! Another nobody came out. It kills me. And Craddock is hurt. I swear. What a disaster. Now it's third and stupid. Third and stupid is what it is. Nobody came. He came through. Just nobody protected. 
Look at that. Okay, this is what really burns me up. Offensive line protection can be so weird in this game. Look at this. We had two guys. We got a left guard and the halfback staring at this guy. And they were just like, nope. I, oh, that just tears me up. Well, I mean, if Craddock, ah, oh, man. They went cover zero. Somehow they went cover zero. <laughs> Why did you go cover zero? Why did you do that? Oh my gosh. Picking up some major yards on the play. Just none of that made sense, but whatever floats their boat. Let's let's do basic slam. We're gonna get away from the Oh, Craddock is out nine weeks after the season. Well, can we survive this game with our backup quarterback? Let's look at it. Craddock is out because we had two guys staring at a, a blitzer that came through and neither one of them decided to block him. So we got Patrick Johnson. And his arm is, he's got a little bit better accuracy, but he has nowhere near the amount of throwing power as Craddock does. But that was a good throw on the go route. Are they going zone or going zone, aren't they? Let's run some clock. I don't mind running some clock here. Ah, block! Oh, why did my fullback not block here? Ah, I can't even put the cursor on him. Come on, put the cursor on. Look at this. He just snoped. Ah, this. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go. The linebacker. Okay. Second and eleven. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming and he just shot I hate to go back to this curl flat every time, but this is the only decent one we have. That gives me some flexibility. We're going zone here. Middle Tennessee State lines up with three receivers. I may have got him off sides. He looks. Johnson fires. And he drops it. A it's a flag, so I don't have to get super upset. First one we've got him on the day. Second and six. The defense gives up some free yards to the offense. You know, penalties can ruin a team. Let's go quick slants. I'm trying to think of quick things, simple things we can get to Suber. Make it easy on Johnson. We're gonna move Cannon. Huge play! Huge play! Huge play! Huge play! To McNair. Suber is out. So I need to remember that. First and 10 on the 16. He's still out. Oh, man. Can we just run the ball with McNair? Can he handle it? Let's try it. We're going zone. The clock has stopped. We're going to go to the left. Hopefully somebody can get on that linebacker right there. Good block. Good block. Good block. Six points. Ah. That was a huge block by the receiver, too. I think that was Bobby Williams. Let's see if we get a decent angle of this. Great block by the fullback. Great block. He blocked two guys right there. Huge play. And that's our first lead of the game. So we're going to get back on defense. Let's get an extra point. Go up seven. He makes the PAT. So with just over two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, our score, Middle Tennessee State, 28, Troy. Let's go kick off middle. Middle Tennessee State ready to kick this. Now this is going to be interesting. They're going to I don't know if they're going to go right There's still a lot of time left. I think they may run their normal stuff. That's a great kick by the way. Let's do basic quarters. What I'm curious to see if this quarterback is going to run on us on the passing plays. Because that I may need to control they went with a run play. Okay, so they're going to do their normal stuff. Like I said, there's still plenty of time for them, more or less. I'm still going to stay in quarters. If I was them, I'd start thinking about running it. I 
Ah, he's got a room over there. Ah, he couldn't get over to the left. He had a big hole in the B gap. Third and five. Uh, let's do cover three. Play action. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding! You gotta be kidding! What happened there? That went to the running back, too. Somehow he just got like super wide open. There was like nobody sitting there. Go back and look at that. How in the world did he get wide open? It's just a perfect play against that coverage. That's the only thing I can think of. And my safety didn't do a good job of it either. Uh, he, oh, that's probably why it hurt. He went for the interception. Eh, it's just an unfortunate play. Gosh. Well, their quarterback's playing great. Finally got to see a decent CPU quarterback. So it's a minute and a half. We are in control of this. Let's just go down the field, score, and end this thing. No pressure. No pressure. Let's just play some clean football. Not a whole lot there. And the 33. Let's go curl flat here to go in zone. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. The Blue Raiders line up with a single setback to you. Johnson steps back to pass. Looks. Johnson. Terrible throw. Dang it. He got stuck. I'm going to do one more short throw before we have no choice but to go over the top. They're going cover zero. Make a play! Or just overthrow it. Dang it. I had no choice to win cover zero. I had to take the chance. Well, this is a big play right here. I don't... We got to... And they're going man. The Troy Trojans bring in their dime package. This is big play. Johnson drops to throw. Steps up on the pocket. Dang it! Dang it! He did a great job of dragging his feet on that. Dang it! They're going. They're going. He was out of bounds. He was out of bounds. Hurry up! Get to the line. Get to the line. Get to the line. Snap it! Snap it! Snap it! Snap it! Oh my gosh, we somehow, he was out of bounds. Go back and look at it. He was out of bounds in the worst way. Very fortunate on that play. Let's go back to tight end corner. Going zone. Jacola is out. Dang it, he got stuck. So the completion goes for about two yards. He got stuck. We're very fortunate to get the first down that we did. So they're going man. First down. Look at the throw. He passes it. Oh. Uh, okay, so we got still got three timeouts, 26 seconds. Three first downs. If we can just get in field goal range, that'd be great. We're going man here. One high. Let's call timeout. We're going to go offense. We're going to go offensive line. Let's call the same play. We're going zone. I'm going to make sure this goes to Jacola. He needs to touch it just because he'll be close to the sideline. Johnson drops back, surveys the field. Terrible throw. Dang it. He's hit and taken down. I got to call another timeout. Take a timeout. Dang it. That's just an awful throw. I got to realize my backup's in here. Go back to man, I dare you. They're going man. Now, this is going to go to Suber regardless. We're going to make sure of that. Just play it safe. R1. Johnson steps back to pass. He 
throws it. And it's caught. Get out of bounds. Nine seconds. Yards that time on the pass. This is just a little pass to the halfback. Nothing spectacular, but his plays. I'm going to. We're going to run the ball. I got one timeout left. We're going to run the ball. I'm going to run to the right. And we're going to try to get down. We're going to go right there. That's where I want, right there. Three, two. We're going to call a timeout. We're going to kick a field goal. We're going to end it. We're going to go offense. We're going to go offensive line just so we can protect. And kick a field goal. That's where I want. I want to be dead center of the field. Let's go, Zacho. Or Zacho, or whatever you want to be called. Game over. <laughs> that was a whole lot of fun. Frustrating and fun. Intense, but fun. Nervous, but fun. Scary, but fun. They're not even going to show. They should have showed, like, some, you know, us winning, getting excited or something. Us celebrating. It didn't happen. Okay, let's go check out some stats. Oh, my gosh. But until then. You know, if 07 would just give a game like this to me just a couple more times a season, it wouldn't be so bad. Ended up getting the number two greatest all-time game. Let's go stance and score. So it's been the first time in forever that a CPU offense went over 300 yards. So they done half. A, a lot of that came off that one big play on that last touchdown of theirs. We had a grand total of 22 yards rushing. We just couldn't do anything about it. But look at our passing yards. They gave... Uh, I mean, they told us to throw the ball, and we did. We got sacked three times. Both teams done okay on the third down. If we didn't have the turnovers, we probably would have won by two to three touchdowns. But kudos to Troy. They made a game out of it. This still doesn't give me super hope, just because, again, that's by like maybe the best offensive performance we've seen from a CPU all year. And the biggest reason why they stuck with us is because... We had two bad turnovers, but turnovers are the most important stat in football anyways. Individual stats, Kranick, I hate to see him out for the rest of the season, but he played well, and Johnson went 10 of 11. Of course, Patrick Johnson, I gave him the easiest throws imaginable. He didn't have to work too hard for him. We didn't run the ball at all. Look at the receptions. Henry Suber, Jacola, I wish you had done a little bit more today, but they just threw enough at us to where we couldn't give him the ball as often as I wanted. But he still ended up with 91 yards. But Subra ended up with a couple touchdowns. Henry ended up with one. A lot of people got to touch the ball through the air today. Look how many catches by all these people. Interesting. A lot of crazy drives. I had to convert a lot of third and fourth downs just to get to where we were. You look at the box score. It's good to see Troy. They got a touchdown in the third and one in the fourth. But somehow, some way, we, <laughs> we came out with the win. Oh, my gosh. Let's get out of here. So we won the Sun Belt Championship once again, two in a row. I don't know who we'll play next. It will be a bowl game of some sort. So come on back. We'll see who we'll play. And that should be more than likely the next video. We'll be trying to wrap up this dynasty. And we'll just see what happens after that. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.